There we go, guys. We had ourselves uh what is that now? Huh? That was a quad shot, wasn't it? Speaking of quads and stuff, if I'm not mistaken, uh if I'm not mistaken, uh I think the wife told me. Wow. Um there's a there's a gal in Houston. Is, is, did you hear this? There's a gal in Houston um that gave birth to the sex tuplets? I, I'm not up on this baby stuff. I mean, I I understand twins and all that other stuff, but not uh, if I if I heard it right, she had she had two sets. No, it was six kids total. I think she had two sets of boy twins, whatever, and she had one set of girl twins. Yeah, total of six babies. Okay, and I guess they were all averaging about two pounds and doing good. Can you believe that? Wow. Anyway, yeah, I just, yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's a drum roll, baby, right there. That that deserves a drum roll. Uh, and now we're gonna get on to a little bit of bullshit. How about some cuckoo time? I like cuckoo time, don't you? Because cuckoo time puts things in perspective. Because there's a lot of cuckoo bullshit out there. I'm telling you. And here's some cuckoo bullshit right now. Okay, you ready? It's cuckoo bullshit time. Cuckoo time. Cuckoo time. Okay, you ready for the cuckoo time? Here we go, guys. And I just heard this on the news today. So I, I, although I do make up some of this bull... Oh, I gotta go off. What am, what am I doing here? What if, ah, so Captain, Boomer's, Captain Boomer's podcast station is a military appreciation station. Always have been and always will be. Thank you, military people, wherever you are, whatever your MOS is. And whether or not you're going to make it a career or not, that's totally up to you. Either way, God bless you and thank you for your your time in the service, uh, defending our rights, our morals, and our values in this country, as some of us take for granted every day, and we shouldn't. Uh, so, hey, the next time you see a man or a woman in uniform, please, if you've got the time and the resources, go up and shake their hand and say, and tell them thank you for serving the country. And if you have even more time and an extra spare change, why don't you, hey, if it's... Uh, if the uh, if the occasion arises and if it's the occasion presents itself, please buy him a cup of coffee or maybe a, a, a McMuffin or something, morning breakfast. Do something, please, please. You know, it, it, it's a win-win situation. You'll feel really good about doing it, and you know what? That veteran will feel, and that military person will feel special too. All right, it, it it's easy, guys, and it's it's very doable, and. Uh, so, please, let's get out and do it, okay? God bless you guys. All right, so, having said that, we're going on to... Oh, yeah, that's right. We're going on to the beloved... I get a lot of calls, and I really do for cuckoo time. Um, no, I don't. I'm lying again. That was easy. Yeah, I'm lying again, as I always do. But anyways, like I was saying, a lot of the stuff I make up and this bullshit and stuff. But now, I don't know how you guys stand on... Uh, the validity of uh, newscasts, this news uh, reporting. But anyways, now this is th this kind of fries my chops in a way because there's so much bullshit. Here's another one. This falls under the category of alcohol drinking and where it's not that bad for you, but they're running scared because of Mary Jane's going to be legalized here pretty quick. Uh, I would say in the next five years, it's going to be nationwide. We're just going to quit playing the games and just jump in it with both feet like Canada. Okay? I don't hear anything negative coming out of Canada. No, I don't hear anybody, you know, more people are being ran over and more people are getting lazy and not going to work and eating a whole bunch of fucking shit they should. And they're all gaining weight and whatever. You know, give me a break. Uh, anyway, um... <laughs> But this is under the same category. See, anytime you, at least the old captain's take on this, anytime that you get a powerful group of people, right, that has been in the business as the alcohol people have been for, oh, well, over a century. We were on the right track with prohibition at one time. Now that, but the alcohol people had too much money and too much power. So they took over uh, that, that uh, the legal area. They made it legal. Okay. Um, same thing's happening now. You got the meat people out there. The meat people 
uh, for years, you know, been selling beef to us and crappy food and red meat isn't that good. But now they're saying, oh, red meat's that good. Red meat's not that bad. Red meat's pretty good for us. Hey, come on now. You can still eat a whole lot of red meat, we're finding out, and it's not that bad at all for you. Okay, and I wonder why that is. Well, yeah, now here we go again. Because, because, because the plant industry, plant food people, Beyond Meat and all those other people, they've actually got a product there that's healthier for us. And maybe even cheaper, more convenient, and don't have to kill a bunch of cows. Okay, and so the cow people are saying, moo, no way, moo. So you see what I'm saying? You got it. Okay, it's, a, it's the same thing now with water. I don't know if you heard this or not. I'm sorry it's taking a little time, but I have to build this up to what you see, understand what I'm talking about. So, here it is right here. Now, I heard, now, water for hydration, which used to be and still is, as far as I'm concerned, the number one liquid that, that us as human beings can put in our body, and they say that our body is made up of 60-70% water anyway. Yeah, and I, I do believe that. But here's the thing. Now they're saying water is not that good for you because there's not enough, there's, uh, not, there's not hardly any or no electrolytes in it, there's no protein in it, there's no fat, some fat that is good for us, and there's none of that stuff. But so, so what they're saying now, they're even, now they're putting water is down to number 10. Number 10 best liquid you can drink for hydration, okay? And above water now, mind you, is supposed to be some soda pop, uh, some some sweet ass juice, orange juice, uh, which by the way is whether it's natural, or whatever. Orange juice, the good stuff, that's like about thirty percent sugar or something, if not more, and some other liquids uh, I, above water. Now I don't know. Okay, I'll be you know I'll play the you know uh, okay Mr. Negative here, like my wife calls me. I don't care. Uh, if they call me Mr. Negative or Captain, maybe I should change my name to Captain Negative. But it's okay to be negative because if we don't question a few things, you know, it's like the old saying, if you don't stand up for some things, you'll fall for anything. And this is what the American people are kind of doing right now, I think. We're falling for anything. Who in their right mind would, would buy the fact that, oh, water is not all of a sudden that? No, okay, let's put it this way. Yes, there are some form. No, I wouldn't want to drink the water in Flint, Michigan. Uh, no, not really. Um, but you see what I'm saying? Some water is better than others, without a doubt. But overall, I will drink water from any tap other than Flint in this country over a Diet Coke any day. Anyway, that's my point. I just had to get that out, so let's get that. There you go. All right. We got to get a few uh, people out here that we've got to pay our bill with. All right. You guys heard of... Uh, Villages of Viagra. I know Villages of Viagra are out there. Let's give them a we'll give them a single a single boinger, okay? Because it's a good product and stuff like that. And the Villages of Viagra are up north, and you can check them out. Just go through the Captain Boomer's uh, podcast shows. And don't forget, guys, if you mention Captain Boomer, you heard it here on Captain Boomer's, you'll get a twenty percent discount. Yes, you will. But my new product today, and it's been with me just for over a week now. And I, it's getting really good reviews. It's called, you guys having a little problem down below? You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about down below area, guys? There's, uh, you got uh, a teeny weeny kind of a syndrome going down there? I'll tell you what, this is a new product that's out and it is hot, baby. It is hot. You betcha. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is definitely with a yeehaw. Anyway, it's called, all right, guys, you might want to write this down. It's called the Weenie Genie. Oh, yeah, baby. The Weenie Genie. Five times more powerful than Viagra. And I'm telling you, this Weenie Genie is available only through Captain Boomer's podcast. And you'll get a 20% off discount coupon to uh, send in. And, yes, the Weenie Genie takes care of the teeny weenie. Yes, and this baby is, I'm telling you, this is an unbelievable product. You guys, I'm telling you, are you ready for this sound? Because this is what you're going to be hearing a lot of once you start taking the Weenie Genie. Oh, yeah. 
A lot of boying going down in the shorts, I'll tell you that, with the weenie genie. All right, having said that, we're moving on. Uh, anyway, uh... Hey. What? Oh, thank you, guys. Thank you. Yes. Oh, it's not me. It's about the weenie genie. I am just a messenger for the boomers. That's all I am. Well, hell, you know what? I don't swear, smoke, or drink anymore or gamble. Son of a bitch, I left my cigarettes at the bar last night in the casino. Damn, how did that happen? Yeah, there we go. Anyway, <laughs> I got to get a kiss out, uh, send a kiss out to my cousin Susie Q um, down in the Stillwater area, and I got to get a big, uh, big kiss a Rooney out to Miss Linda Moore. She lives down in Florida. Uh, she is one of the most staunchest supporter of, supporter of that I have ever met. Um, and I have, you know, the only other one I can think of, and uh, I would like to have that on my bucket list. I would like to, I would like to, uh, to meet, um, uh, Mr. Uh, Gary Sinise. Uh, yes. Let's hear it from Mr. Gary Sinise. There you go, Mr. Gary Sinise, although I'll probably never get a chance to meet you. Uh, my hat off to you, sir. And if I had my way, I would vote you in, in charge of all veterans affairs. Without a doubt, you show the compassion, you show the drive, you show, show the caring and the passion, everything to, to, uh, to easily, easily with Captain Boomer's uh, endorsement. I... I, I, uh, I I think you're a fantastic human being, Gary, and uh, keep it up because we need you. Uh, all us veterans need you. Uh, so thank you, sir. Thank you for your effort. Thank you for your time, your patriotism, and your caring for the veterans. Yes, indeed. And right up there with Mr. Gary Sinise, of course, Gary Sinise has more money than Linda Moore and more fame, but that's not what it's about anyway. Now, Linda Moore in her own right, she lives in Florida, lovely gal, and uh, Linda Moore, uh, she is always there for the veterans, and this lady is amazing. She tells us, she tells us veterans good night at night, she, she says, bless you, I love you guys, have a great day. Uh, have a great morning and sweet dreams and all that stuff. All that good, soft, fuzzy, cuddly, good stuff that we should be doing and, and saying for one another in these times that, we, uh, <laughs> that we're living in. Uh, anyway, uh, God bless you, Miss Linda Moore. I love you. You're doing a hell of a job, lady. Captain Boomer says you are a special lady. Yes. Okay, what is this now? Oh, we did that comparison thing. We did the comparison thing. I got to get another shout out to anybody up in the ADAC Alaska area. If you're listening, I would love to see you guys show up on my radar here. Yes, indeed. And I, okay. All right. The wife likes this song, and I told her I'll give it a plug because she was a brownie, I guess, at one time. I got something in my pocket, and I went across my face, and I was in play. It's a brownie song. Whatever. There you go. All right. Anyway, Ma, <laughs> Ma Kettle, get ready, gals. I'm telling you, she's got her own shops opening up right next in the mall areas around the country. Right next to, guess what? Yeah, Victoria's Secret. You betcha she's got, uh, Ma Kettle's got her own sexy lingerie out there now. Yeah, for old, la for old ladies, yeah. And I believe the wife has just bought a couple. I can't wait to have her put it on for me. Oh boy, that's going to be exciting. Give me a break. Yeah, dun, 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 dun. You betcha. Anyway, huh? What? Nancy's here? Really? Nancy Pelosi's here, guys. Yeah. <laughs> there she is. Nancy Pelosi. 
Yep. You get a guy in the office, the highest office in the world, in the country.